I'm here today with my colleague Kristen out on the Poudre River Trail. We're right at Island Grove Regional Park at the brand new trailhead. There's fresh parking, there's seating, place to fix your bike or use the restroom. To talk about trails, there's an exciting change in the works that has been 20 years in the making. We're ready for something new. Let's talk about what that is. Kristen, what's going on? Thanks, Becca. So like you said, we're updating the trails master plan. It has been 20 years since we've made an update to it, and Greeley has changed a lot in the last 20 years. So we need your help, the citizens of Greeley, to tell us where you would like to see future trails and where you'd like to be able to go on trails, whether that's going to work, going to school, or going to the places that you'd like to play. Perfect. Okay, so the Trails Master Plan, we're looking for your feedback. How does someone give that feedback? Where are we at in that process? So right now on Speak Up Greeley, you can go on and review the concept map. So this provides some options for future trails. And what we really need to hear from you all, residents of Greeley, is how can we connect your neighborhood where you live to those existing and future trails? Wonderful. So go online, go to Speak Up Greeley, give that feedback so that we know how to serve you best with that trails master plan. It's a really exciting time. Now, once we've got that feedback from the community, then what happens? What's the, the follow up that'll come out of that feedback? Right, so after we get that feedback from the community, that'll be incorporated into the final master plan, which will be available later this year. So after some, some staff revisions and council approval, then the final plan will be available for the public to see um, by December 2023. It's really, really exciting. It'll be really fun to have new ways to connect. We were just talking off screen, long term that should improve the city's walkability and bikeability scores so that more and more people who either are students and don't have access to a car or choose not to use a car will have new ways to get around the community. So if you're listening to this and you're thinking, yeah, that's me, I'm a trail user. Let's talk about what's going on on the trails right now and how you can safely participate in trails in and around Greeley. First up, let's talk weather. What's going on with the river behind me right now, Kristen? Well, the river is really, really high right now. So th this spring, we got an intense amount of rain. I'm sure everyone remembers those amazing rainstorms. Plus, all of the snow started melting from up in the mountains. And it melted even faster this year because it was raining up in the mountains on top of that snowpack. So the river is running really, really high. And trails like the Poudre Trail run really close to the river. So we experience a lot of flooding and erosion impacts along the trail. So to keep people safe, we've had to close sections of trail to keep folks out of those floodwaters and away from those eroding uh, riverbanks. So we really want people to go and go online and check trail conditions before they recreate outdoors. And Cotrex or the Colorado Trail Explorer is the best place to check those trail conditions. And that uh, website is trails.colorado.gov. Perfect. Thank you so much for that. You know, when I'm out on the trails, I know I've often seen water and I've thought, is that a puddle? That's no big deal. I can make my way through that. But we were talking about this before. We've, we've heard stories of people biking through these waters and realizing that your bike's not steady in them. A good rule of thumb is just to know that it only takes six inches of moving water to sort of sweep someone off their feet. So even if it's a low amount of water, that's a space where you're really not gonna be safe. And we want you to use our trails in a way that is safe. We want you to enjoy them. And so please, the phrase is turn around, don't drown. If we have closures and signage up, please heed them, be respectful of those closures and find a different way or a different path on the trail on higher ground. Now, as Kristen said, the best way to find out that information is to go to a state tool called Cotrex, trails.colorado.gov. Our natural areas and trails team, our experts keep that updated in real time with our closures, spaces where conditions might be even under construction. It might not even be flood related, especially as this master plan takes off and we start to make those connections, you're gonna have spaces that may be closed temporarily while updates happen. So always check Cotrex before you go. That's trails.colorado.gov.